What is going on guys? Attica from the Attica World Network here and right now I'm currently at the airport. I'm at JFK so I'm going to be trying to catch my flight. It should be taking off in a couple of minutes, maybe like 30 minutes so they'll start boarding people and then I can get on at that point. Today was an interesting day because when I got dropped off by the taxi, the guy really didn't say anything the whole trip, right? But then at the end of it, he's like, oh, my friend, where, 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 where are you going? And I said, um, oh, no, I'm just, I'm just going to uh, Las Vegas. And he said, oh, Las Vegas? <laughs> oh, Vegas? <laughs> he was like, oh, my friend, oh, you're going to have a good time. He was telling me all the sinful shit that's in that city, man. He was like, oh, the woman, the drugs, the weed, the alcohol. He was going in, man. It was absolutely hilarious, man. And and this was all happening within a time span of like 20 seconds because he had dropped me off and waited until then to bring up the fact of um because i guess he because i told him i was going to jfk but then suddenly he waited and was like oh where are you going and i vegas vegas <laughs> his face yo this shit lit up yo he was like oh you're gonna have a good time you are you a young man oh be a young man <laughs> i'm gonna be a young man i'm gonna be a young man but um yeah, man, if you guys can see, we're here at the airport right now. You got the, hey, hey, boss, hey, boss, the plane, <laughs> hey, boss. But, um, yeah, man, uh, the stream was actually really fun. I'm glad that you guys were able to come through for the little bit of time that I was there. And once again, I do appreciate the donations, man. They definitely helped to keep my ass covered since, you know, this trip is expensive in a lot of ways. Uh, I had a lot of fun with the stream, though. I, I feel bad that I wasn't able to get it off the ground. I need you all right now to say a prayer for me in the comments because I'm not sure how well I'm going to get this laptop to work with the streams. I bought all the gear that I could. I bought the capture card. I bought my 3DS with the capture card. And I bought an individual capture card. You know, when I said capture card the first time, I meant like the individual Ava Media card. So I'm hoping to God I'll be able to configure that thing correctly. But the laptop does have relatively decent Passengers specs. Passengers Zahid Ahmad, Walter Halet, and John Joseph. Please identify yourself to the agent at gate 33. Right, so yeah, gate 33 is the one that I'm going to be at. It's that one over there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this flight. Now the way it happens is there's going to be two parts. So... Even though I'm going to Vegas right now, I'm not going to be taken directly there. Um, this flight that I'm taking right now is coming from New York City, and it's going to stop in Chirac. So once we're in Chirac, hopefully I'll avoid Chief Keef, Lil Durk, Lil Reese, Fredo Santana, and all these other little niggas. Because <laughs> I ain't trying to get murdered in Chirac, man. I'm going to stay right in my seat the whole damn time, man. I ain't trying to see O Block, Bang Bang, D Block, whatever. I, don't, I ain't trying to see none of that, man. EJ Academics told me right, man. Stay the fuck out of Chirac. If I take a plane that's flying over that bitch, I, I ain't. But, you know, it's the only thing I could do. It was the last flight available. I'm just joking around, though. I'm, I'm just being stupid. But, um, yeah, man, it's, I, I'm going to Chirac. But it's not like you can leave the airport. So, I mean, it's not like I'm in any real danger. But still, man, I, fucking, I, I feel uncomfortable just off the fact that I have to take, be in a plane that flies over Chirac, man. Someone might be like, oh, that's the plane. I'm going to buck some shots at it, man. Um, yeah, hopefully we're nowhere near the south side of Chicago. But it, it, it's a cool concept, man. I wish you could go out, rather. To be honest with you guys, maybe, like, if it was possible, I would take a taxi cab and ride through south side Chicago and see what happens, man. I would have to buy a bulletproof vest first, though. A Kevlar vest to keep my ass alive. But it would be a funny-ass idea, wouldn't it? Just driving through Chirac, downtown, south side, be like, hey, <laughs> be like, wait, that nigga got a high top? <laughs> oh, man. That'll be some funny shit, man. Um, but okay, so... Yeah, and then once we're in Chirac, I'm going to wait two hours there, and then I'll catch another plane, and that one's going to take me to Las Vegas. Now, one thing I didn't take into account as well is the um, time zone change. I didn't factor that in, because if it's on California time, then that means that their time is going to be three hours behind us. So, technically speaking, I'm traveling into the past, flying to Vegas, and I don't know if the time zone change was reflected accurately in the plane ticket that I bought, because the plane ticket says that I'll arrive in Chicago at 11 o'clock. Passenger son, please recheck that's a, I don't know. Maybe that's 11 o'clock their time, which means that it would be 1 o'clock our time, but... And how is that even possible? Because it's nowhere near 1 o'clock right now. I don't know. I really have no idea. Jet lag shouldn't be a problem for me because my sleep schedule is basically on Japan time right now. Like, my shit is so fucked up, man. I, I, I can't even I can't even explain to you dudes how bad my sleep schedule is jacked up. I tried to fix it in so many t in so many ways. Alright, we ain't going to Miami, nigga. We ain't going to Miami, but um, I, I have so much difficulty trying to fix my sleep schedule, man. 
I tried staying awake with coffee, ju you know, juicing myself up with caffeine, making it so even if I did feel sleepy, I would just drink like a whole cup of coffee. It didn't work because basically after I took too much caffeine, I was awake the entire goddamn day. So that that strategy failed really badly. And then I just forced myself to stay awake, sheer will. And it worked to an extent, but it worked on the day that I needed to leave at late night to fly. So even though I was sleepy earlier tonight, there was no way for me to take advantage of that and fix my schedule because I had to leave the house to go on a plane. So I mean, hey boss, yeah, I, I guess that's I guess that's the breaks. I don't know when I'm gonna be sleeping in Vegas though. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, uh, I'll I'll keep you dudes updated, man. Not sure when I'll do another vlog, but I'll probably do another vlog when I'm when I'm in Chicago. And if I ever see if I ever see GBE or Block, I'll let you dudes know. I'll see you in Chicago though. Thank you for keeping up with me with this whole thing. I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.